All right, Shalom, Brother Ra, coming to you another video. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwath, those of the hopeful elect, fearing, trusting, believing in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, I want to do um, a video uh, referring to, you know, this year, 2021, being deemed as hasting unto the coming of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Yahweh is the heavenly father who the world ignorantly calls God who's getting ready to send his son Yahweh Shai all right who the world ignorantly calls Jesus okay we're living in those times all right now when you read second Peter 3 and 10 it says but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat so Yahweh Shai is coming as a thief in the night. Now, the hopeful elect is watching. Uh, pursuant to Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, the scriptures say, uh, "Measure thou the times diligently in itself." You know, being thorough and watching the things that are taking place here on the face of the earth. So much news updates that's taking place, and it's all prophetic. You know, from you know uproars of the people, famine taking place. You know, um, you know, martial law being put in place, diseases from the C-19 and other diseases that are taking place, earthquakes in diverse places. OK, all this represents that Yahweh Shai is closely approaching. Now, it says in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Now, the heavens represents Esau's rulership. It's getting ready to pass away with a great noise from what? Yahweh Shai and the angels coming back to shoot precisely laser beams, you know, on people to destroy those uh, who obey not the gospel, majority of our people, okay, and the workers of iniquity, the Edomites and the other heathen nations, okay, and he's going to redeem the elect. Now, following that is going to be the, um, the missiles, okay, 200 million ICBM missiles to lay the land of America desolate, and that's going to go out with a great noise. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat elements are everything you know you see around you you know everything that's made up from the periodic uh periodical table if i said that right okay but you know the buildings the cars the people you know they're gonna be destroyed completely you know when this place goes out man uh babylon aka america okay it says the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So all this devil's labor um, that he he used to build up um, from the from us being slaves under him, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you know, all his efforts to build this, this system up, you know, it's going to be destroyed, which goes to show you that it's all worthless anyway. Verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. OK, seeing meaning having a faith to believe and see these things. Okay, and visualize these things because that's exactly what the hopeful elect has been given the gift of faith to visualize and see. Okay, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So, how should you be conducting yourself knowing that these things are getting ready to occur? So, you know, this scripture is speaking to what the hopeful elect. Okay, we should be, you know, separate from the world. You know, we should have already repented, seeking the Lord seeking his ways, continuing to fear the Lord and walking all his ways to the best of our ability, rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, to the best of our ability, you know. It says, verse 12, looking for, here's the point, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And that's what this year has been deemed, okay? We're looking and hasting unto this day, you know, looking for something to quickly take place keep an eye on it like the government of the house okay it says wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat verse 13 nevertheless we according to his promise that is all according to the promise now of the heavenly father that he promised to um abraham isaac and jacob okay to be a father of many nations okay for us to um to to rule over our enemies you know, for us to be perfect, um, for us to never die, to be um, immortal, you know, things of that nature. But it's going to start with the elect. OK, but th this is all promises, you know, um, 
nowhere as it reads on it says for it says look for let me start it up start over verse 13 nevertheless we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth which when you go into that word new it goes back to the greek word kainos which means refresh to replenish okay so the earth is going to be replenished because right now it's polluted it's polluted physically and spiritually, man, with all the, the wicked philosophies and doctrines that Esau, Edom, the so-called white people, promotes, you know, from sodomy, you know, to um, being covetous, you know, corrupt, you know, the pollution in the ocean, you know, the air, the water, everything's polluted. So the Lord, you know, is, is promising a refreshed earth, a replenished earth when this man's kingdom is brought down. And that's what the hopeful elect is looking for. Okay, it says, wherein dwelleth righteousness, and righteousness is going to rule, starting with Lo Yahweh Shai, the house of David, the 12 on down. And that's why this year has been deemed 2021, you know, hastening to the coming of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And that's what the hopeful elect is doing, you know, looking for these things, um, looking for these things to continue to take place and enhance. And ultimately, we're looking for the uh, mark of the beast. Which is the RFID chip Let me bring that out Because it's a, a, a very important prophecy here And, and we're close to this, these moments Revelation 13 and 16 And he calls of all Both small and great Rich and poor Free and bond To receive a mark in their right hand Okay, that mark goes back to the word um, Greek word karagma Which means an incision or imprint Okay, or in his forehead Okay, now this is getting ready to be made mandatory. Now, we know through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which you know, our apostles have been pre preaching about this for years, okay, and our elders as well. We're seeing that this is this mark of the beast is already here. Now we're looking for um as we're hastening the day, that this thing is getting ready to be made mandatory and it's prophetic. This man is gonna require everyone to take his mark. Okay, right hand, left hand, forehead are being in, uh, put into you, period. Okay, but we know the, the elect will not take it. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, now that number is 666. So without that mark, you're not going to be able to buy or sell because it's going to be the new form of currency. We're hastening to the coming of the day of the Lord and we're seeing this is getting ready to be put in place soon all right so we're going to continue through the power and spirit of how about shimia shy lord willing to to watch for these things because you know salvation is nearer than we be, when we believe and now i'm gonna close out on romans 13 and 11 because uh we're living in some critical times okay it says and that knowing the time okay like the scripture say seeing this how should you be you know in all holy conversation and godliness so knowing the time, measuring the times, looking for the clues and the prophecies that the Lord gave the ancient prophets to preach of. Yahweh Shai um, preached about it as well. Okay. That now it is high time to wake out of sleep. At this moment, we're in the most highest peak of time for us to be awake, man. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Now, two thirds is not going to take heed and that's all prophetic as well. But we're still, we are still to warn our people. Okay, it says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So at this moment, salvation is nearer than when we believe. And every day that goes by, we get closer to salvation being extremely close. You know, so we're hastening the day because this man's rulership is about to go out with a bang. And it's going to be, um, it's going to be a very uh, eventful thing that takes place man the most eventful um uh i would say the most eventful um prophecy, prophecy that takes place man deliverance ever to take place now it says verse 12 the night is far spent the day is at hand okay this man's rulership is far spent you know as as we were going into on the highways and byways his time is about is about to expire and he knows it the elites revelation 12 and 12 okay it says the day is at hand and he knows who's up to rule next he knows Jacob got next, man. Okay? He knows that. So, this man's going to come in with great wrath. Okay? It says, let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Okay? The armor of light is this word. 
You know, repent. You know, seek Yahweh Shai. You've been warned, and, and we're taking heed ourselves, Lord willing, we endure the hopeful let. Because why? We're hasting the day of the coming of the Lord. You know, the bridegroom, Yahweh Shai, is getting ready to come back for the bride, which is the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. But it's going to start with the elect. You know, and we want to be found blameless so we can receive salvation. That's what it boils down to. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom.